May I come in, sir? Good afternoon, sir. Good. Yes, sir. How are you, Javed? I'm good. Sir. Coming from Pondicherry or? I'm coming from Pondicherry, sir. How old are you from? I have been here for the past uh, couple of months, sir. In Delhi? Yes, sir. Before this lockdown? Second lockdown? Yes, sir. In fact, my interview was scheduled for earlier and I had arrived on that date. So after that, you are not gone? No, sir. So when it was in April? Sorry, sir? It was to be held in April or May? It was to be held in May, sir. May? Yes, sir. You are staying in... Uh, no, sir, I'm staying in Jamia Hamdad, sir, Mahrawali. Just tell me about this gender campaign in the college. Yes, sir. That? So that was an initiative of the MHRD and the Ministry of Women and Child Development to inculcate gender sensitivity on campus. It was a club where certain tasks were delegated to the members of that club in order to inculcate gender sensitivity on campus. So what, what did you do? Yes, sir. So the activities comprise mainly by gaps in college, gender ga gaps in college, and uh, prepare repositories of gender-related schemes for women and disseminate and popularize gender helpline. Okay. Why didn't you opt for police service? Sir, I do not satisfy the physical requirements, sir. Okay. Now, uh, do you have French-speaking people in Pondicherry, all the four units? Uh, yes, sir. there are French speaking people, but primarily they are people who either have a French nationality or people who have come to Puducherry as tourists. There are French nationals also there in Pondicherry? Yes, sir. Uh, as, per the, uh, as per the provisions of the 1956 treaty between India and France, a lot of Puducherry citizens were given the option of availing themselves of French uh, citizenship. And these particular people, for them, the Article 19 rights would be applicable. But in all other provisions, they are uh, uh, French citizens. In fact, the passport is also a French passport. How many such people will be there? Uh, sir, I'm not sure about the exact figures. I think close to 2,000, 3,000 people. They used to participate in their poll also. French presidential election also. They are also. Yeah, they participate yes, in sir. elections. Right? Yes, sir, it's regularly held, sir. When uh, France left Pondicherry, the, all okay. the older generation they wanted to be French citizens. No, but what benefit they are getting now to be French nationals? No, there are no benefits per se, sir. The only thing is these French nationals can at any time migrate to France. In addition to this, but those they have French property rights as well as all other Article 19 rights similar to Indians. Those French nationals are Indians or? No, sir, they are French people. Indians also there. Uh, no, I mean, they by descent, they're Indian, sir. By citizenship, they're French people, Citizen sir. Right. Yes, sir. Uh, Indian origin only. Indian oh, yeah, yeah, by descent, they're, they're Indian. No, 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 sir, no, sir, no, sir. Now, we have UTs, eight UTs we have. Yes, sir. Tell me the difference between different UTs. Some UTs are governed differently. Yes, sir. So, two, you, uh, so certain UTs have... Certain, a, how many? Two UTs, sir, Delhi and uh, Puducherry. Both of them have legislative assemblies. Jammu Kashmir, you are forgetting? Uh, Jammu Kashmir, the, the legislative uh, election assembly elections are yet to be held, sir. So, does it mean that it is different? No, it's sir. It does, it, has, it does have a legislative ah. assembly, sir. Ah. Then in addition to this, uh, there are UTs that are governed directly by the Ministry of Home Affairs, including Dadra, Nagar, Haveli, all of them that have been amalgamated into a single unit. In addition to this, there is also Chandigarh, Chandigarh acts as the uh, capital for both uh, Punjab as well as Haryana, sir. There is, there is some other difference also? Administ administrator and yes, Lieutenant sir. Governor? Yes, sir. So, for uh, in the case of Delhi, Article 239 AA specifies that... Lieutenant How many UTs are having Lieutenant Governors? Uh, sorry, sir. I am not entirely sure. And Jammu and Kashmir is having? Yes, sir. Jammu. Lux this is... Ladakh is having. Yes, sir. Then? Lakshwadeep has, Puducherry has. No, Lakshwadeep has got a additional charge. So the present. It's not Lieutenant Governor, it's Administrator. Oh, okay, sir. Right. Sir. And Amans has. Right, sir. Okay. Uh, we have some particular day today. Sorry. Being sir? celebrated. Today's day. I'm not I'm not aware, sir. I'm Sports sorry. day? I'm sorry, sir. I'm not aware. See, um, some two, three days back, uh, Madras High Court has made some observation right, sir. regarding quota system. Right, sir. You know that? What, what is it? 
No, sir, not aware of it. That, that is encouraging casteism. Uh, I do not know about the specific uh, uh, observations okay, of the okay. court in that regard. Uh, you are quite young. Uh, right, sir. Uh, you can reach up to cabinet secretary level. Right, sir. So, what are, you, what are your aspirations that at the time of retirement, which type of post you'd like to retire? Sir, I per se do not have any preference for a certain post. What I would want to do is, I would want to contribute in a meaningful and positive manner to India. S and also... What highest post and what second highest post you can superannuate from government service? Sir, I think... Keeping in your, your age. Uh, cabinet secretary, I think oh. there is a possibility. Okay, then there's then also home secretary, finance secretary. Those positions are also possible, I think. Not sir. chief secretary of the state? Yes, sir, chief secretary of the state as well. Uh, Javed. Yes, sir. What is the best time to visit Puducherry? Best time to visit Puducherry, apart from the northeast monsoon time, every what, other. What months of the year? Sorry, sir. What months of the year? Sir, I would particularly say in the summer months, sir. Maybe from uh, uh, from April to July, that time is a very good time to visit Puducherry. What are the uh, aspects of French culture that still. Uh, Reflected in Puducherry society? Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, it is uh, reflected in the half commune panchayats. So, this is a relic of the French uh, uh, times. Is the commune panchayat different from regular? It's the same, sir. Only difference is in nomenclature, sir. Block panchayat. So, block panchayat, the, the French name for that was commune panchayat. In addition, uh, in addition to this, the street names of Puducherry, they also are, a lot of them are in French. Uh, in terms of culture, you would find that in the names of the people of Pondicherry, sir, wherein there is a English spelling, say Raj Kumar, R A G K R A J K U M A R, it would be R A D J C O M A R, and a lot of, and uh, a lot of uh, French popularization activities by the Lycée Français in Pondicherry means that a good portion of the population is capable of conversing in French, sir. Uh, status of Arabic. What is happening these days? Auroville, uh, uh, sir, it's presently being governed in uh, accordance with the Auroville Foundation Act of 1988. And uh, due to COVID recently, the number of spiritual tourists have dropped, but the number of people who are staying on as permanent residents, that has stayed steady, sir, the people who are a part of that common uh, experimental uh, township. Your mother's name is Benazir. Yes, sir. Benazir Bhutto. You are familiar with Benazir Bhutto? Yes, sir. Can you tell me about Benazir Bhutto? Benazir Bhutto was a former prime minister of Pakistan, sir. And uh, she was uh, she she was often considered a progressive prime minister. In most aspects, however, in terms of her foreign policy and everything, she stuck to the usual realist foreign policy approach of Pakistan, sir. Um. You have what you call uh, reading fiction as one of your hobbies. What, yes, what do you read? Sir, I, I uh, read a lot of classics, sir. Most recently, I've read uh, uh, Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness uh, and uh, Harriet Beecher Stowe's Uncle Tom's Cabin, and I reread uh, Huck Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. So, uh, is this why you have opted for English literature uh, with a background in mechanical engineering? Sir, uh, there, there were multiple reasons for that. The first reason was that when I was in college, I used to be engaged in discussions with my English professor on texts of mutual knowledge. She was quite complimentary of my critical analysis and writing skills. Further, I was the literary secretary in college. And so when the time came for surveying my options for UPSC, I felt that I would do more justice given that I had knowledge of prior texts. <laughs> and I had prior knowledge of many texts. Further, so, uh, how, analyzing the marked trend for mechanical engineering, I felt that I would be able to do more justice with English literature. Tamil Nadu has seen a new government and a new chief minister. Right. Uh, it's almost three months, four months. It's around that time. Sir. Can you tell me some of the initiatives that the state government has taken in the last four months? For Tamil Nadu, sir? Tamil Nadu. Yes, recently they've introduced a man, uh, MG Narega-like scheme for the urban areas, sir. In addition to this, they've uh, also uh, introduced, uh, they've also uh, 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 they, uh, they've also incentivized uh, uh, travel for women on buses by making it free, of course, sir. Okay. Mechanical engineering. 
Yes, sir. Can you tell me some of the latest developments in the field of mechanical engineering? So most recently, there is a concerted push across the world to shift from the traditional IC engine to electric vehicles, sir. Okay. Where does India stand in this regard? So India in this regard, as far as, far as what the Niti Aayog is projecting, is that uh, 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 cert, uh, recently we introduced this national electric mobility mission whereby we intended to increase electric vehicle sales 6 million year on year. In order for all of this to be possible, charging infrastructure needs to be set up as well as energy demand will increase by a measure of 100 terawatt hours. Sir. So presently we have around 1800 charging stations. But the actual capacity requirement is, by 2026 will be in the range of 20 to 30 lakhs, sir. And in addition to this, we also need to work on energy storage solutions. Given that for electric vehicles to be truly renewable, the source of energy needs to be from renewable sources. So a lot of present day storage solutions tend to have fluctuations in their storage. So recently, the national uh, mission for uh, battery storage has been launched, sir. So that is where we are. So this will be a paradigm shift in the EV technology, uh, in the yeah. uh, what do you call uh, vehicular technology. <coughs> yes, sir. Before this, what was the major shift uh, that happened? <coughs> now we are moving from diesel to diesel and petrol to electric. electric. Vehicle. Before this, what was the major shift that happened? In the automobile in the industry. Automobile in the automobile industry, there was a lot of focus recently on uh, fuel no, efficiency. No, I'm saying sir. this is a paradigm shift from oh, paradigm shift diesel petrol to right, EV. Before this. What was the situation like? You know, what what was diesel and petrol an update of? Uh, diesel and petrol was an. I'm not very sure about that. So. Of GST on Pondicherry economy. Sir, so, uh, the impact on GST on Pondicherry economy is that uh, what has happened is. Uh, one thing, Pondicherry has been given a seat despite being a union territory on the GST council. So it is an equal player participant in the GST process. Secondly, however, the, what is the value of vote in India. Sorry, sir. What is the value of the vote? Vote uh, that one seat carries how much weightage? I'm not sure for the individual uh, constituents, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, and uh, in addition to this, what has happened is earlier when uh, states were able to set different flow uh, sales tax rates, they could uh, attract in the industries on the basis of a differing sales tax, sir. Now, given that that provision has gone away, Puducherry has witnessed an exodus of industries from its erstwhile famous industrial estates so due to competition from neighboring Tamil Nadu. Hmm. Yes, sir. So, uh, state revenue has come down? I'm not sure about the exact uh, figures. Hmm. So, if that is the case, now one nation won't take that, uh, that uniqueness of uh, uh, some competitive advantage of right, Puducherry sir. has gone. Right, sir. Uh, why can't we merge? Uh, with Tamil Nadu as a district and make Karikal as a taluk of uh, adjoining district. Right, sir. Sir, uh, the grant of union territory status was meant to as, uh, address a historically anomalous situation. Secondly, there what is... What is the anomalous situation? The anomalous situation was that it was part of French India, sir, number one. Number two, uh, what was happening is that the French had granted near complete autonomy in domestic matters to Puducherry. Chandra sir. Nagur also was a French territory yes, sir. Yes, that sir. has been annexed uh, to West Bengal. Yes, sir. Why Pondicherry should have a special status? Uh, sir, there were, there were a lot of clever stratagems that were employed for, by the French, sir. Chandra Nagur, they held a referendum and the majority wanted to immediately go with uh, their side. Here, because this was the administrative center of the French, they gave a lot of autonomy and then they engaged on a propaganda campaign whereby <coughs> they started to uh, instill fear that you will lose all this political autonomy on uh, on the account of mergers, sir. Then uh, the uh, uh, then <coughs> Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru appointed Jerome de Souza for oh. negotiations and on talking to Edward Goubet, the leader of the uh, French... That's history. Yes, sir. Why do you... Now I'm saying no, yes, the situation, yes, why sir. can't it merge with Tamil Nadu? Yes, sir. So there is a 1956 treaty that was concluded with France. Which says, <coughs> so history, uh, yes, sir. what is your personal view? Should be merged or not? No, sir. I, I think that presently it should not be merged, sir. For right. the, that is my yes, question. Because there is a treaty which says that any change in the constitutional status of Puducherry. I am mean, not yes, asking law point, your right, opinion. Sir. Okay, 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 fine. So I understood. 
sir given that this is a purely internal matter with no security implication and uh, we've done the same thing for goa sir wherein uh, the uh, a democratic process was followed in order to ascertain the will of the people and proceed with it secondly a lot of prosperity of puducherry for instance the per capita income of puducherry is 3000 dollars which is 1000 dollars higher than the national average this has primarily germinated tamil nadu uh, what is the per capita I'm not very sure, sir. But if we compare the nearest districts, sir, Vilupuram, it is primarily agrarian, sir. Tamil uh, Pondicherry, on the other hand, has had good development in the sense that it's now uh, most of the contribution to the economy is from the tertiary sector, sir. Tertiary sector or alcohol? <laughs> so hmm? I, uh, it's the tertiary sector primarily. Hmm. Sir. Brewery sector, not tertiary <laughs> sector. Hmm. Chalo, let us move on to yes, this thing. Uh, the another development, what do you think about, even though it is not uh, uh, pertaining to Puducherry? Yes. The Bank of Tamil Nadu, announcement right. by Government of Tamil Nadu. They are going to start their own bank. Right, sir. Hmm. Sir, I do not know the details about Yesterday that bank. Yesterday there was an announcement, the Bank of Tamil Nadu. Uh, they are going with, I think the first state government to start their own bank. Sir, I am not very sure about the provisions of that, but Provided that it will be used for... Now I am telling the news. Yes. Tamil Nadu government is going to set up a payment bank oh, payment called bank. Uh, bank of Tamil Nadu. Right, sir. So how do you take this? How mm. do you see this? So if it is a payment bank, mm. then in that case, it is a very important tool for financial inclusion, sir. Mm. Because what could be done is, since they are not allowed to lend and deposit limits will be up to 2 lakhs, the people will get an assurance that their money is not going to be severely uh, compromised. Secondly, there can be cross-selling that can happen on these payment banks. And thirdly, after the enactment of a suitable data okay. protection law, data can be monetized from these payment banks in order to uh, in order to innovate customized financial products to ensure financial inclusion. Okay. What is uh, meant by Neo Bank? Have you come across Neo Bank? Neo Bank. Neo Bank. Have you come sorry, across sir. this term Neo Bank? No, sir. Okay, uh, LIC privatization. What is yes, the latest? Uh, sorry, sir. No, hmm? What is the latest? Uh, what do you know about LIC privatization? Token disinvestment is going to happen for LIC, sir. Hmm. And on account of this, private sector will be investing, which will bring in private sector efficiencies. Private oh, sector. What are the challenges in uh, privatizing LIC? Sir, I think the primary challenge will come from the labor you uh, uh, the labor pool that is presently employed at lic sir they they need properly it needs to be communicated to them what will be the quantum of uh, uh, the value hmm. of shares that will be privatized no, i'm sorry sir i cannot recall sir. okay you said you don't want to merge with tamil nadu yes. i'll conclude with this what are all the strengths and weaknesses of puducherry the strengths and weaknesses of Puducherry. So, the first strength is that proximity to power center. Decision making is the most important tool for economic uh, development or any other. Since the since local self government's election has not been held in many parts of the neighboring states, sir, this will be one of the uh, uh, okay. problems. Next. Yes, sir. Secondly, what will happen is, uh, uh, secondly, another strength of Puducherry is its industrial estates, sir. The industrial estates that have been hitherto, or at least in the past, been able to attract a lot of investment. So that is another strength. Third st uh, strength, I would say, is its very strong tourism sector, sir, which has had a lot of pull, especially in recent years, given that disposable incomes have been rising. Weaknesses of Puducherry, uh, not able to recall a weakness. No oh, weakness. There are certainly <laughs> weaknesses. Sir. One weakness in Puducherry is that uh, yes. in Puducherry also local governments have not yet been formed, sir. Mm -hmm. Given that the uh, delimit, uh, they are saying that delimitation has not been concluded, and for that local elections have not been held. That is one problem. Uh, others are not able to immediately. Cases have reached the Supreme Court also. Yes. Supreme Court has intervened, intervened in five six years back. Will not happen. How do you personally see Kiran Bedi's performance? 
Sir, she is a person of outstanding integrity, but I also feel that a certain degree of separation needs to exist between the nominal executive and the uh, subst uh, substantial executive. So you've had a hard time finding the weakness of your district. So tell so us something about. No, sir, not, <laughs> nothing of that sort. Sir. Nothing of that sort. Sir. So, you know, you tell us your biggest weakness. My biggest weakness? Uh, madam, I tend to speak in long sentences and sometimes go off on tangents, madam. Okay. And your biggest strength? I would say my biggest strength is that I'm very perseverant. So how do you plan to address your biggest weakness? Although I didn't find it during the interview. Uh, I've been... Madam, maybe it would not have been visible during the interview because I've been trying to consciously work on that. Mm. So what I tend to do is I tend to try to keep a check on my own thought process. Stop here. and mm. Okay. So uh, literature. Uh, how will literature, the study of literature, help you in running the administration? Madam, uh, uh, direct benefits may be minimal. However, literature does provide certain soft skills, such as being able to communicate properly. And although literature is not the sole manner, a method to increase empathy, literature also makes one more empathetic. Thirdly, I would also point to the instance of the Mysore jail, madam. In the Mysore jail, what is happening is that uh, re uh, many renditions of Shakespeare's Lear and Macbeth, whereby there is resonance for the prisoners is being performed in order to bring about change in their mental attitudes, madam. So I think through these indirect benefits, there is uh, some utility for literature. Uh, so how is uh, uh, Pondicherry been able to handle COVID? Yes, madam, it's been able to handle COVID very well, madam. Presently, of the 1.3 million people, 8 lakh people have been vaccinated, 2 lakh people have been fully vaccinated. The positivity rate is uh, less than 2%, madam. Uh, all of this is possible because it has a very strong health infrastructure. 90% of the rural areas in Pondicherry have a PHC and 73% of these uh, are functional round the clock, madam. On account of this, it has been performing very well in this regard. Okay, so coming to automotive, automotive sector, uh, is government supporting enough in this sector? What is uh, the view of industry on this? Government has been making a lot of concerted efforts towards the uh, amelioration of the industrial pain in the COVID times, madam. Uh, what the government has attempted to do is it has made liquid liquidity widely available to Atmanirbhar Abhiyan. In addition to that, uh, uh, it has it has saw, uh, it has endeavored to improve the ease of doing business by reducing regulatory burdens and compliance. And a little more contemporaneous reform was reducing the taxation, corporate tax. But this is your view, or this is the industry view? Uh, I'm not sure what is precisely. So I was asking about the industry view. It was in the news recently. That's why I was asking the industry view. Okay. So what is the uh, difference between reducing emissions and cutting emissions? Madam, I'm not very sure. If I may take a guess, I would say that reducing emission would be reducing it by qu some quantity. Cutting it would make it zero. So can we uh, reduce emissions without hurting jobs um, or companies' finance performance? Yes, madam, that is entirely possible. What <laughs> needs to be done is mitigation and adaptation strategies need to be adopted for that green technologies electronic vehicles and in addition to this the copenhagen pledge whereby 100 billion dollars per year was supposed to be mobilized presently only 36 million of that has been mobilized so provided that these medley of measures are properly enacted one could ensure that if there is any loss to job industry it is minimal thank you okay javed your interview is over